Welcome back to the channel. Now uh, we've pretty much completed this Nox UI kit series that we've been looking at. We started out by wanting to basically fix the icon issue that we've um, we noticed while trying to use Nox with UI kit or UI kit with Nox. Uh, the latency with the the viewing or the displaying or rendering of the icons that are JavaScript and because Nox is on SSR by default and the JavaScript won't load until we reach the client side. So basically fixing the issue we've come to realize is just setting SSR to false by default or if we want to use SSR then we have to try to add some script that basically loads before everything are on so. Uh, so what I want to do now, as I believe I had mentioned before, that I wanted to basically have this uh, display over to you guys. So we're going to go ahead and deploy it to GitHub Pages. And Nox has this really good or easy way of us doing that. Um, a tutorial that really uh, makes it extremely simple. And I want to leverage that. It's been a while since I've actually uploaded to GitHub Pages. So think this is a perfect opportunity to do so. so let's go ahead and get right into it and i'll leave all the links also in the description so the first one that we have here is basically uh, the deployment so this is pretty much what i'm using to go about doing this and uh, we can pretty much begin now by just cloning this repository and i'm using ssh and i think that is something that i highly recommend that you guys should consider doing as well so we're going to go ahead and uh, cd into well this is a whole new setup by the way so some things are going to look a bit different so we're going to cd into see i'm already making a mistake so we have projects now youtube and i don't think i have anything in here so we're going to cd into we're, well we're going to make a directory and i think i'm going to create a view slash nox even though it's Nox UI kit, so we could possibly have one just for new UI kit as well. So what I may do is just leave it at view and then CD into view. Everything really falls under view. If anything, and uh, we need something that is specific, then we'll make changes later on. But now it's just going to be view. So let's clone this repository here. All right, so that's cloned. And what we want to do now is to just cd into Nox UI kit. And the first thing that we want to do is to actually check out the client side branch because GitHub page is basically for static sites and for statically rendered sites, basically, I guess. And we, I don't think we'll have access to do anything server related at least as far as i know at this point so we have to uh we're pretty much just gonna have to use the the server side well the client side rendered aspect of this so let's go ahead and do a git um, checkout and we're gonna check out the client side and now that we've done that we can go ahead and do a yarn to basically install the different dependencies that we should have and as you can see here we pretty much have all this them separated so we have client side and we have server side ssr client and these are pretty much just duplicates i may end up just changing those afterwards so that's that so let's just wait until this thing uh, completes All right, so what I want to do now is to, I, I believe I want to just open this in code because we have been using code for 
I guess the entirety of this project. So let me just go ahead and do that. And that open on a different window. So let me just bring this right across here. So hopefully you guys can see that clearly, which it doesn't seem to be the case. So let me just expand, increase the size a bit. All right, there we go. That should be better. So we have pretty much everything that we need um, in here. The first thing that they say that we should do is basically change this uh, to static. So we want to set this uh, target static and that should be it. For some reason, I actually want to try, maybe I'll end up creating a new video where we actually try to deploy this to, as default SSR and just setting this to target to static and see if it'll actually work on GitHub pages. So this is pretty much our app right here. They said the first thing is just for us to uh, set this to static. It's already set. And the next thing is that we want to set the router, the base router here to the, the repository name. So slash Nox UI kit. That's what we want to set slash. And this is basically for uh, how we have it deployed on GitHub here as far as I know. So that's pretty much that. Let's get back here. Well, not there here. And we can save this. And that's pretty much it for that. The next thing that we want to do now is to, I think we need to install a, a package a dev dependency in here. So this dev dependency is the push there dev dependency and I'll open the link over here so you guys can look at it. It's basically what we're going to be using to push the 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 disk directory to GitHub pages. Let's go ahead now and open our terminal or we could actually just use the one that we have over here cause why not? Let's go back over here and do a yarn add and it's a dev dependency. So we're going to go ahead and add um, dev and the directory, the package name is push dir. All right, so that's install. Let's close that out. Uh, now we have this dev dependency here. So the next thing that we want to do now is actually change up our script. And this is something that I didn't even notice that we had. So for the build, we actually want to have this as generate because this is actually uh, a static site. So we definitely want to change this to um, generate. And the uh, next thing that we want to do now is just to add this new, want to add this new uh, script which is going to be our deploy script. And this is basically gonna use the, the push dir uh, command to push the dir, which our directory, which is the disk directory that is going to be built when we, uh, when we basically um, generate the project. And then we want to push it to this branch which is our GitHub pages branch and this is GH GitHub pages. And then we want to do a cleanup basically here. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and, well, it should auto save because I have auto save on. And from here, we can go ahead and uh, start to run some other commands. So what we need to do now is to generate here, if we do an LS, you'll see that we don't have any the this uh, folder. So we can go ahead now and just do a yarn generate to actually generate that um, this directory. So let's do that now. All right, so that was completed really quickly. So let's go ahead and first things first, we wanna check that this is actually working locally. So let's do a yarn start. And you can see that it's opening at the slash location. So let's go ahead and open that. If we go over to 
about page you can see that it actually loads the thing and everything is working the way that it should you can see the icons are not taking a while to load so that's what we wanted so let's go ahead now and close this out uh, the next thing that we want to do now before we actually push is we have we made changes to the project so obviously we need to commit those changes so let's look at the status that's, that we have here so we've modified two file we modified the nux config and also the package json file so let's go ahead and add first the nux config and the comment that we want to add to this is um, the changes that we would have done and basically the changes that we've done so far is to um, add router base config so that's um, what we've done and for the package.json file uh, so we need to add this as well so add the package.json and here what we've done is to pretty much just um, we've updated the scripts and we've also um, added and we've added the push their package and uh, that should be it for the changes if we check the status we can see that everything is pretty much um, committed already so we can go ahead now at this point and do a yarn deploy which is the which is a script that we've created just now should not take a long time and that's it so now it's pushed to github and we've created a new branch so if i should pretty much refresh this here you can see that we have a seventh branch which is our github pages and if we come he over here we'll pretty much just see the different um files that would be in our disk directory so if i go ahead and do an ls of the disk directory you can see that this is pretty much um, those files that we have here as well and uh, that is pretty much it so if well probably should have edit this but we'll leave that for some other time let's go ahead and see what's happening at or github pages so we can see that we have a deploy but i tried it early and i actually cancelled it so that's why we have that there so if we go here to edu.fedora.github.io slash noxui kit now you will be able to see this here so i can come over here and copy this link back over here and instead of the youtube link to the youtube video we can change this now and just add this right uh, here even though this is kind of counterintuitive i think because i think i'm going to add this to the the readme file instead because this what this link i believe actually points to the ui kit config and not the nux ssr support so i may just add this to the to the to the readme file instead of to here so that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, if there is any question, you can leave that in the comment section. And that should be it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.